Welcome everyone to the Museum of Art here at BYU. My name is Naomi and I'm here to talk about this lovely exhibition, Primal Forces. Um, I am an environmental science major and I'm in the Student Sustainability Initiative here at BYU and I work as a stitcher at the costume shop. So I know a little bit about sewing and nature and that's why I really, really love this exhibit. Here you see Slot Canyon. This is one of my favorite pieces from this exhibit. Why did they all use quilts and fabric to portray these beautiful pieces of nature? The way I've been thinking about it a lot is, as you see here, the Slot Canyon was shaped by Earth's primal forces. That's why it's called primal forces. It's shaped by natural forces that created these beautiful wavy lines. And if you've ever been to the Slot Canyon, I know that you've also been wondering how did the Earth make this beautiful art piece out? We as humans can't really shape the earth and shape things like the earth does, like turning mountains into canyons and boulders into tiny pebbles, but we can take fabric and textiles and shape it the way we want and sew it into the shapes that we want to see. Let's take a look at another example of how beautifully people have turned fabric into nature. Welcome to A River Ran Here. This is another beautiful example of how Earth has changed its, its looks and its beauty based on different forces that have happened. You can totally see a river that ran here but dried out. And you can see the mud and how it runs so beautifully. Um, I'm especially impressed by this because I know um, from experience how difficult fabric is to work with but this person, this artist dedicated their time to really get these lines so that it looks exactly like a picture and exactly like the image that they saw when they saw a river once running here. Well, the next question we ask ourselves is why nature? Why are they looking at nature? And I think we need to think about the collaboration between humans and nature, our relationship between this image and our lives and our effect on nature. Um, I'd like to take you to a different quilt and talk about something that I'm really passionate about. Here is another beautiful example. It's called Vortex and though it does not portray the place that I'm about to talk about, it has very similar features of how water interacts with the earth. Researchers here at BYU have studied the Great Salt Lake for a while now and they released this report that says the Great Salt Lake could disappear in five years. This is really impressive research and I know some of the people that have worked on it personally and I think it's amazing and I think it's shows you that even though there are these primal forces that change the earth and, and break down all these hard materials, we as humans have a huge effect on the earth and how it presents itself. As we can see with the Great Salt Lake, this has been a human's effect on it have made it shrink. And all these artists are trying to capture beautiful nature, but also by saying, we want to preserve this in real life, not just in a quilt. And we can use our human efforts and collaborate with earthly efforts to help bring back the Great Salt Lake so that our children and other generations won't just have to look at a beautiful quilt, but they can go out and see it in real life. And even though we can go to a beautiful museum and look at these art pieces, we should go out as humans and interact with Earth and see the art in real life.